Imagine if you could go back to the year 2000. And someone told you that there would come a day when you could simply ask your computer to play music or predict the weather. At that time, it would have sounded like science fiction. But today it is our reality. The secret behind this progress lies in artificial intelligence which has drastically changed our lives in recent years. In this video, we take you through a time-lapse of AI, exploring some of the most significant changes AI has brought about and how it has transformed the world. If you're curious about the future of artificial intelligence, then be sure to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Did you know that the idea of artificial intelligence actually started back in the 1950s when the first computers were invented? Back then, computers were big and clunky, and it took years of development to create software that could perform simple tasks that humans usually did. The motivation for creating AI was to make machines that could automate tasks and potentially replace or enhance human labor. It's amazing to see how far we've come since then. Back in the day, when AI was being developed, there was a lot of excitement about technology and the amazing things it could do to make the world a better place. This was in the 1950s and 1960s, when society was changing rapidly and people were eager to explore new possibilities. At the same time, there was a lot of competition between nations, with the Cold War in full swing. Everyone was trying to come up with new technologies that would give them an edge, both militarily and economically. AI was seen as a way to potentially match or even surpass human intelligence, which was pretty mind-blowing. The focus at first was on practical applications, like automating tasks and making things more efficient. But as AI has developed, it has also sparked deeper questions about what intelligence and consciousness really are. AI has the potential to automate all sorts of tasks and even create machines that can think and act like humans. Back in the 1960s and 1970s, AI was just starting to become a thing. People were developing the first expert systems that allowed computers to do really complicated stuff, like figuring out what was wrong with someone medically or solving big math problems. The reason for all this was because the world was changing, and we needed better, faster ways of doing things. Plus, there were a lot of people protesting and trying to change the way things were done. So maybe that helped inspire some of the new ideas about AI too. So, when it comes to the development of AI, a really important factor was having access to lots and lots of data. That's what made it possible to create these things called neural networks. Basically, they're like little brains that can learn from data and make decisions based on what they've learned. Researchers started working on this technology in the 80s and 90s, and it completely changed the game for AI. Suddenly, computers were able to do all sorts of advanced tasks. The Cold War was ending, and there was a big push for globalization and economic growth. Computers were becoming more and more integrated into our daily lives, and people were starting to want smarter systems that could make things more convenient and comfortable for them. That's why we started seeing things like personal assistants and other AI applications that were focused on meeting people's individual needs. Plus, with the rise of the internet and all the data that was being collected, AI started becoming more and more accessible to everyday folks. You know, things like voice assistants and recommendation systems that could give you personalized services based on what you'd been doing. It's kind of interesting to think about why we're so drawn to AI though. I mean on one hand, it's about having control over our world and feeling powerful. But on the other hand, there's this desire to really understand what intelligence and consciousness are all about. So, the development of AI isn't just about new technology, it's also influenced by the society we live in and what we value as a culture. And as we become more and more dependent on AI, that influence is only going to get stronger. This is the point we arrive at our current century. In the 21 century, people are becoming more aware of how technology affects us and our society. There's a growing concern about the impact of AI on things like jobs, privacy, and the potential for people to misuse AI for their own gain. Because of these concerns, we're starting to have new conversations about the ethical and philosophical aspects of AI. Like who's responsible for developing and using it, and how smart we want machines to get. Based on what we've seen from AI in the past, it's safe to say that the development of AI will continue and become even more advanced and widespread in society. Thanks to the growth of big data and the continued development of neural networks and machine learning algorithms, 
AI systems will become even better at learning and making decisions based on large amounts of information. So in the future, we can expect to see AI systems being integrated into more and more parts of society, like healthcare, finance, and industry. We might see more medical applications for diagnosis and treatment, smarter systems for managing financial transactions, and more automated processes in factories. And the crazy thing is, we're already seeing these changes happening really quickly. One of the most significant changes we've seen in recent years is the application of AI in the medical sector. Computers are now able to help doctors diagnose and prescribe treatments by analyzing huge amounts of patient data. This can lead to better treatment outcomes and more accurate diagnosis, which is a big win for patients. One great example of this is IBM Watson for Oncology, which helps oncologists select the most effective treatments for their patients. Another example is the use of robots in surgery. Thanks to their precision and speed, robots can perform surgical procedures with greater accuracy than human surgeons. A great example of this is the Da Vinci Surgical System, which is used for a variety of surgeries. It's amazing to see how AI is transforming the medical field and helping doctors provide better care for their patients. And get this, Google's AI tool can even recognize breast cancer scans just as well as human radiologists. AI is making a huge impact in the finance world too. With algorithms and machine learning, computers can crunch a ton of financial data and predict what's gonna happen with stocks, currencies, and other money stuff. It's making investors richer and helping them make better decisions. There's this hedge fund called Renaissance Technologies that's killing it with their complex algorithms. In the transportation sector, AI is also being applied more frequently. Smart traffic lights use real-time traffic data to keep things moving smoothly, reducing traffic jams and making our commute less of a nightmare. Plus, self-driving cars are being developed with AI tech, so we can kick back and relax while the car drives itself. Talk about a safer and more efficient way to get around. In the world of work and personal life, AI has really been making a difference by increasing productivity and efficiency. One cool example of this is the development of chatbots like GPT-3 and the soon-to-be-released GPT-5. These chatbots can really help streamline communication and save time. And get this, we're also going to see more and more autonomous vehicles and robots that can help with various tasks and processes. Imagine self-driving cars, taxis, and trucks from companies like Tesla, Volvo, and Uber. They're working on making these vehicles drive without any human intervention. And even Amazon and UPS are using drones to deliver packages now. Other companies like Boston Dynamics and DJI are also working on developing autonomous robots for all sorts of different purposes. It's pretty fascinating stuff, but we can dive into that more in another video. Although AI has a lot of great benefits, it also comes with some challenges. One of the biggest concerns is how it may impact employment. With more and more automation, some jobs may become obsolete, but at the same time, new jobs will be created. Another thing people are worried about is the safety and privacy of our personal information. AI needs to collect and process a ton of data, so we're left wondering who can access this information and how it's being used. There's also a scary possibility that AI could turn against us. I know it sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but experts have warned that super-intelligent AI systems might eventually pose a threat to humanity and could even lead to our destruction. While this may seem far-fetched, it's important that we take the risks of AI seriously and keep exploring ways to use the technology safely. It's worth remembering that the development of AI isn't just a result of technology advancing. It's also shaped by the social and cultural context in which it's being developed. This means that society's values and current trends can influence the pace and direction of AI development, as well as how AI technologies are used and accepted. That's why it's crucial to keep monitoring and discussing the development of AI, both from a technological and ethical standpoint. Only then can we ensure that AI is developed and used in a way that benefits society and humanity as a whole. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more insights into the world of AI, be sure to click on the video on screen.